suffering. Relax. And, and again, we were just in this state. We do not need to manage our bodies. Give your feet permission to relax. And you'll notice all of the beautiful energy that was flowing a short time ago is ready to flow again as our beloved Mother Earth, Gaia, Pakamama, is beneath us, absorbing all the energy we send her. She doesn't care if it's happy, sad, angry, toxic, laughing. She brings it all in and transmutes it to the highest state of love, magnifies it a multitude, and then sends it off to all of your beloved brothers and sisters of earth within it and upon it. The crystals, the plants and trees, the beloved sacred worm, the birds, the fishies, the water and clouds, the air, all becomes infused with mother's love that was born in your energy. And you'll notice the top of your head is very light and airy and relaxed as it naturally becomes to bring in more energy flowing through your body. If you feel any pain or discomfort on your head or elsewhere, acknowledge it and give it permission to resolve itself as your body becomes adapted and attuned to this beautiful cosmic love flow within your being. Coming in from the stars, the dimensions, the frequencies, the angels, all of your non-physical friends, your soul family, your mentors, flowing in down through your body, through your feet, deep into earth. If you feel any blocks or issues, don't worry. Like water flowing down a mountainside, creating a great river of energy. Any blocks are just flown around or picked up and carried away. Where Pacamama eats it up as though it were chocolate and then shares it with all of your nature family. So tonight, within the loving magic of the beautiful, full manifestation moon. Imagine yourself on the top of a mountain, on the top of your perfect mountain, this beautiful, starry, bright moon night the perfect temperature for you, the perfect environment. Look around. What is your mountaintop like? What does the perfect air feel like upon your skin? If you are cold, you are welcome to have a magical blanket or parka wrapped around you. Look up and see Sister Moon in her glowing, magnificent abundance. All the stars. 
knowing each star represents another galaxy. Feel the energy of all of these stars, all of the suns that are the stars, and all the planets revolving around them, all the cosmic dust, the meteors, space debris, all of the light and airy beings floating around the universe, all the collectives that live within our universe in this frequency and within other frequencies, all of the beings in our dimension and the other dimensions, they are all there, physical, non-physical, and even other ways of being that we may not even understand yet. You are on your perfect mountaintop, basking in the glowing light of the full sister moon. And all around you are states of beingness in dimensions and frequencies. All kinds of beings and races and species who connect through love. And they are all here, connected with you and watching over you in the most loving state of caring and protection for you and your well-being. Invite Sister Moon to glow her love into you. Feel how loved and protected you are at this moment. From this state of total love, caring, and protection, you are safe. You are completely protected and safe. Only love can connect with you. So in this moment, I want you to call out to your ancestors of this life. If any ancestors of past lives also arrive, accept them. Invite them to also join. But your intention is to call to your ancestors of this life to come to you now, to stand all around you or before you. Call them to you, all your ancestors who are connected to you in this life. 
no matter how many generations back. You may see some ancestors in fine dress, some in casual, some may be ragged, some may be primitive. You may see some are recent, and some may be very, very old from long, long ago. They may be all different looks, shapes, size, color, styles of being. Not all ancestors remain connected just those who chose to come forward and be connected for you in this life or for this timeline of connection. Invite them to step forward. Look upon them. You will see that they naturally form groups of like-mindedness, your ancestors of love and joy are all together. Your ancestors who are mean-hearted, they're together. The ones who live within, lived within guilt and remorse, you will see the frequencies of the groups of ancestors. Like you are looking at a rainbow or a spectrum from the most loving, joyous, kind, robust humor on one side, going to the most mean hearted, filled with avarice on the other. Look upon them all. You will see that you are connected to your ancestors, but you may be more connected to some than to others. There may be some you have no connection to, others you have a powerful connection to. Look upon your connections. Turn to your ancestors of love the fun ancestors, the happy, kind ancestors, and say to them, I want you to be connected to me. Send me your love lines. If we're already connected, send me more. I want your connections. It is my right to have your connections. Connect to me here and now. At my request, you are contractually obligated to send your lines of love to me. Open yourself up to absorbing the connections of all of your loving, kind, happy, benevolent ancestors feel their line of energy connect to you, absorb into you, feel their love flowing into you. You can feel their relief, their gratitude that you have invited them in this way. They are so happy 
to be helping you. Let their love energy flow into you as a baby suckles milk. Let it flow into you as is your birthright. Let it flow into you as is their greatest wish and desire to share this with you. Absorb this highest level of ancestral love. Let it flow into your being. Let every cell and atom absorb it like a sponge. Let it flow into your organs, into your lungs. Let it flow into your heart where it pumps into your veins and arteries so that your love, the ancestral love and support is literally being pumped into every part of your being. Let your hair become infused with this. Your tongue, your mouth, let it flow into the palms of your hands. Let the ancestral love flow into your body and fill your body. And Paca Mama smiles as all the divine energy that is flowing into her is mingled with your highest state of ancestral love and sacred guardianship. This is the state that you were meant to spend your entire life feeling. This is the state that is your birthright to continue the rest of your life carrying this within you. Call to your loving ancestors. Say to them, send your love through me. Fill me through me to all of our other ancestors, the grumpy ones, the angry ones, the ne'er-do-wells. Send the highest state of divine love through me and my connections to each and every one of them. And you feel even your sister moon and your beloved mother earth are sending their love with your ancestors through you to every ancestor who lives and exists beneath the frequency of love. It is flowing through your lines of energy to them, ancestral love, lunar love, earth love, your love flowing through you to all the ancestors who have two choices. They may absorb this love and buoy themselves up to become happy, or they can disconnect Pump the love. Just open up and let it flow through like the gates of a dike washing open and love is flooding. The love flood gates have released. These ancestors are awash. They are floating in an ocean of love. They are receiving it through the lines like an IV. They have no choice but to absorb it, swallow it, breathe it, or 
poof, go away. All this time, the highest state of love is flowing through you, filling you. You feel how worthy you are of love. You deserve the love. You are a being of love. When you are not spending these short few years in this physical life, you are actually a being of eternal love. You are incarnating for a few years to have an adventure, and then you return to your energetic state of eternal love. So invite your eternal state of love and all your ancestors of love and their eternal states of love to flow through you. Before you came to life, this is how you existed. The more love connection you receive, the closer you are to your natural state of being. Now, I would like you to retrieve your cutting implements that you had used a moment before, pull it up from that place of safekeeping you had placed it, so you may use it anytime you wish. Feel it in your hands. Look at all these lines of connection between your ancestors, your soul, your ancestors' souls, beautiful sister moon, our beloved mother earth. See all the love coming at you and know as you go forward, you are going to even amplify this love and everything beneath love will be allowed to go to its own place of natural healing. Raise your cutting implement and sever everything, cut everything, and you will see the love becomes even more, greater. And the non-love is allowed to dissipate. Your ancestors of love are sending you even more love. And you are able to send them love back. And that allows them to send you even more love. Beautiful, powerful, flowing forces of love. That it is their greatest joy to fill you up with. And the joy, oh, the joy that your beloved ancestors feel. The ones who arrived in the state of love and the ones who chose to be transmogrified, who morphed, evolved into love. And you can see the others, they're gone. They are nowhere to be seen. They're going elsewhere to do other stuff. That doesn't matter. They're just having adventures. Eventually they will return to love. But look at all the good you have done today, tonight, with the aid of our beloved full moon. All of your ancestors get more love. 
and they share it with you. They connect with you. Your life going forward will have this support, the guidance of your ancestors who want nothing more than for you to be happy and joyously well. You can feel their excitement as they surround you and give you a big group hug. Oh, they're so happy for this family reunion, for this connection, for this purpose you have given them. For the fact that they can now dote on you and boast to all of their ancestral friends about how amazing you are, all the ways they can help you to have the best, happiest life. Allow their love to flow into your hearts and allow them to go to where they wish. Some may choose to remain close by you as guides with your life going forward. Some may wish to float up and give you guidance from a higher level and look out for your well-being on a higher plane. Some may wish to flow like into your heart or to be just ahead of you on your life path, clearing the way for you. And some may wish to just be nearby so that when there's wonderful opportunities or extraordinary people in the periphery, they can call to them and say, come here, come here. I have the most wonderful person for you to come and connect with. Your ancestors are ready to do what they are meant to do. Guardian, care give you to keep you safe and happy. For that is truly all the reward that they want or need. Take a moment, resonate with your happy, excited, loving ancestors. When you are ready, allow yourself to flow back into your body. But you notice, even as you're flowing in your body and you're putting your cutting implement where it best belongs so that you may call to it whenever you wish, you are returning to your 3D existence. You can feel your ancestors here protecting you, caring for you, doting upon you, whispering in your ear encouragements and reminders of how wonderful and amazing you are. Allow yourself in your own time to return to this space allow the connections to be where they best are, that you may call upon them and your ancestors whenever you wish or need.